So what's going to be the major product in this reaction? Well, looks like we have hydrogen halide and we have an alkene, so the most likely reaction that we are looking at here is the hydrohalogenation of an alkene, which starts by the electrophilic attack from our hydrogen halide onto our alkene. This attack can give us two different tertiary carbocations. However, the one on the left has a carbocation on a tertiary position within a very strained ring, while the one on the right has a tertiary position not in the ring but next to it. And I will remind you that the carbocations, they are sp2 hybridized species, which means that they should have a bond angle of 120 degrees. However, here we're squeezing it to 90 degrees in this four-membered ring, which going to to make it extremely unstable, meaning that I'm going to discard my left carbocation and I'm going to proceed with my carbocation on the right side. Now, as I've mentioned, the four-membered ring that we have over here is very strained, and we have a carbocation right next to it. So, in cases like that, we're typically going to see ring expansions via the carbocation rearrangements. So, we'll have the following alkyl shift, giving us a new secondary carbocation, which is actually going to be somewhat more stable because we have expanded our ring and we no longer have a ring strain which can then undergo another carbocation rearrangement, giving us a tertiary carbocation, which again is more stable than the predecessor secondary carbocation. And finally, since now we cannot have any other meaningful rearrangements, the bromide going to attack our carbocation, and as a result we are going to get this molecule as our final product. Also, since we have two chiral centers over here and our reaction involved a whole bunch of carbocation rearrangements, we're going to end up with four stereoisomers in this reaction. Can you draw all of them? 